Yeah, my first two shorts had donkeys, so it just kind of became something I did. <laughs> I don't know. People seem to like the donkeys. This is from Bang Bang Baby. How many donkey focused movies are there in your career? In my career? Um, just two. But that's enough to be pegged as the guy who makes movies about donkeys. <laughs> Bang Bang Baby, yeah, it was. I started writing it. Well, it's interesting because, like, basically, after I made my first short film in 2005, or two, sorry, 2004, that's when I started writing Bang Bang Baby. So that was 10 years ago. Um, so it's 10 years now from when my first short premiered at TIFF to the time when my feature is premiering at TIFF. And all that time I've been working on this project. So at the film center, I made the, my first short film, The Sadness of Johnson Joe Jangles. And I have a, this is, this is a donkey from the film. Did you see the film? Jangles was a, it was like a Western um, about this couple and they have a donkey child and <laughs> they're living in the wild west. But yeah, then they give birth to a donkey but they really wanted a horse. They, they go to this place on the edge of the frontier and it's a kind of a crazy wild west town and everything kind of goes crazy for them and it ends it, it doesn't end well for the donkey. My humanity and just a simple donkey. You know what I was thinking this morning when I was barfing? I, I had written this script you know set in this world that was would have been very expensive to create as real sets or whatever. So I just thought, you know, I had time, but I didn't have money. So I could sit in my apartment and print things out and cut things out for months. <laughs> um, and it wouldn't cost me anything, so except for the cost of paper and and ink. Once upon a time there was a girl. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted into the American Ingenue Once Talent Competition. Upon a time there was a boy. Yeah, so essentially it's a story of this young woman who dreams of moving away from her small Canadian border town and becoming a famous singer. But her father won't let her go. She gets into, accepted into this contest in New York, but she's not allowed to go. Um, but then out of the blue, this her rock star idol shows up in town. Um, and then they start this romance. And uh, at the same time, there's this leak in the local chemical plant, and everybody starts becoming mutated, including her. So. She's got to hide all these mutations from Bobby. Ultimately, to me, it's just like it's, it sounds very campy when I describe it, but I think it's, uh, it's ultimately like the story of this girl sort of claiming her independence and escaping her small town and um, the like all expressed through her fantasies and nightmares. So really it's sort of, it's like there's a fantasy world and there's a nightmare world. And, fantasy world is the Bobby Shore and the nightmare world is the the mutations and they're all to me expressions of her journey like her inner turmoil about what she's trying to do in her life and everything there's just something about the character that it sort of has to fit into this world and be kind of this archetypal character but never feel one-dimensional. I mean, there was so many challenges in the film because it was like, you know, we didn't have a big budget. It was like a very low budget. It was a musical, it's a period piece, and you know, just a lot mutations and everything to deal with, a lot of the effects. So there's a lot of challenges. Basically, the way to do it is to get a lot of really generous people and talented people who are, want to help you. I think, you know, the challenges of of making a film is just, it's something you need money to do. So <clears throat> it's just raising the money and living a life in which you don't go broke. <laughs> um, and, you know, making sure you don't spend all your own money on your filmmaking. Yeah. And, <laughs> so and I think, you know, there are, there's a lot of advantages in Canada if you compare it to some other countries, but then obviously some countries probably have a little bit more 
advantages than us too, but you have it pretty good. Don't mind my daughter. She grew up without many people around.